Good day, my name is Andy Brown from Tennyson SA. This morning I'm going to introduce you to the Tennyson Intermodal Container Seal version 11. It is a standard ISO 17712 compliance seal incorporating passive EPC ISO 18000-6C RFID to determine tamper for audit purposes throughout the supply chain. Uh, having a look at the seal itself, as you, can see, as you can see, it's a standard bolt seal, which locks in exactly the same fashion as a traditional seal. It has a microchip containing EPC technology at the tip, transmission lines, through to a specially designed antenna at the top flag, which, is, which allows us to read from all directions, all directions once it is placed onto the locking mechanism of the container. There's absolutely no re-education to the, to the applicant of the, of the seal um, and can be used in the traditional format as current seals are currently used. Um, what we'll do this morning is we'll move across to the uh, Durban container water gate and um, we will then demonstrate a read event through the portal that we have installed there. Once again, this is the, this is the reader setup that we have here. We have an industrial PC connected um, through to um, antennas and a reader mounted at the top of this gantry. Uh, you'll see, the, uh, you'll see the, the four antennas, one on each side of the lane and two above on top of the lane. Uh, when we activate the um, demonstration software, uh, you'll see a read count when I expose this tag to the readers and um, when the device, when the, when the, when the um, tag is out of range, it'll turn red. I started the inventory, I'm exposing the tag to the readers. You'll see the read count, the read count uh, starting to increment. This tag is in my hand at the moment. And once the truck has passed through, that line will um, turn red. You no longer see the tag. But we have the statistics on how many times it reads, the RSSI, RSSI counts, and all that other information that we can use uh, on the back-end application side. Our next step is to install the, install the seal onto the container, and we'll see how it does when the container drives through the door. Right, what we're going to do now is we're going to seal the container. This, the container can be sealed in... Um, any of the traditional sealing um, receptacles, the first one being the, um, the handle lock mechanism or we can use the, um, the twist cam locking position. In this case the twist cam lock position has already been taken because this container is destined for export so we'll lock the handle lock position. Locking is done in a traditional manner, simple, making sure that it is in firmly. It is now sealed and locked and now we can let the container go through the portal and we can ensure that we read it. Should the seal be tampered with, obviously the read event will not take, take place and using the OCR backbone we can then make sure that we terminate that truck's uh, transition and take uh, corrective measures. Right, what we have here, we've had the truck pass through the portal. Here you'll see a red, red event. The, the event is now red um, because the truck is now passed. It's no longer reading it. We'll see the, to the total tag count was 99. So we read the tag 99 times as it went through the portal. Right, what we're going to do now is seal another container. Unfortunately, this container doesn't have the cam lock mechanism. It has got a seal installed because this is now for export. So we're going to use the right hand locking mechanism. This one's closer to the edge of the container. What we'll do now is instead of following the container through the portal, is we'll go to the portal and we'll look at the statistics as the truck drives through. You'll be able to see the read event happen real time. So without any further ado, let me install the seal. As you can see once again, it is in a traditional fashion, locking it up by crimping the container in. It now clicks in place. Uh, you'll see the, um, the container, the, the seal identity has been... Um, has been etched using barcode and human readable elements. What we'll do is we'll expect to see 
seal ID E9ED through the portal and um, once we've seen that read event we'll be able to look at it on the, on the actual computer at the portal. We're going to start the monitoring application anticipating the seal coming through the, uh, through the portal. We're going to give the truck the go ahead. Hopefully we can do this in one take and, and um, what we'll do is watch the events happen as we go through. Right, here we have our sealed container. It's on its way to come through through the portal. What we'll do is we'll just go around and go to the computer screen and we'll watch it go through. see the read events as they happen, as the, as the guy drives through the, the actual portal itself. So here we have a truck going through in a full full motion and we see the read events as they happen.